Okay, our next step is we're going to get rid of the sprite that's defaulted for Scratch programming, this cat here. So we come down to the lower right-hand corner and delete that with the X, trash can. Are you sure? Yes. <clears throat> and we get rid of the sprite that's there. Now, sprites are typically used as characters in many of our Scratch projects. So the way we create a sprite is we come down to the lower right here corner next to the backdrop and we can choose a sprite that Scratch already has. We can make our own sprite. There's a surprise which I hardly ever use and sometimes we can upload if we created it somewhere else or we can use someone else who gives us permission and we can upload a sprite uh, of somebody else's work. Okay, so we're gonna stick with Right now, we want to create a moon, a sun, and an earth sprite. So here we go. We're going to click choose a sprite. I search for the three elements. Uh, moon. Scratch does not have any moons. So we're actually going to have to paint our own in a moment. So let's look for the earth. I search for earth, and it does have an earth. Now, we can also make our own earth if we want to. Uh, but for right now, we're just going to use the earth that Scratch has. Okay. And here it is. Now it's displayed on the stage here, but I also see it here. All right. And we're going to also create a sun. So we tried to find a moon. Didn't have it. Let's see if the Sprite has a sun. It does. And again, if you don't like this one, you can create your own. I have my sun created here. Now I can move these around and I will. So I'm going to move this. You can move it to either side to make this right. We're going to resize it momentarily. And I'm just going to move them around just slightly for now to get them situated. And then we're moving on to creating the moon sprite. So Scratch doesn't have a moon sprite. We're going to make one. All right, so we're gonna come in here and choose a sprite. We're going to paint. So let's go into the paint. Okay, we're gonna use the circle tool to make our, our moon. So we click on over here. All right, and I'm gonna come out onto this and drag and just make a circular moon. Obviously, again, I don't want purple, okay? I'm going to come over here and just move this around, and we'll resize that as well. And we're going to fill. So I'm going to click on fill, and we want a grayish. So I'm going to take a, the saturation down to make it grayish and a little darker. Okay, and click out of it, and it creates that grayish moon. Now, you can customize it to exactly how you want to customize it. But you have these tools over here in the paint draw. Okay. Um, and I can move that with the arrow somewhere else. And I can also go onto the stage and move it. Okay. Now, in my printed module, uh, I do have that you can add craters and things like that. So I can use the paint draw to add craters or other things and play with the gradients here. Um, I can do different things with this here uh, if I wanted to, okay? But I'm not going to do that for this video, but you can play with different gradients and different colors in there, okay? All right, good. Now, I now have my three elements or my three sprites. Let me move them around on the staging area over here on the right-hand side. But I also want to resize them to give it more of a feel of uh, more appropriate scale. Obviously, I can't scale it exactly the way the sun, earth, and moon are. But I want to show that the sun is much bigger. So in here, you see a lot of information. I can go into the size um, input box here and make that. It's 100% right now of what it was originally. I'm going to make it like three times the size, which would be 300%, and put that there. And now I'm just going to move this off so it's kind of off the stage a little bit. 
kind of like that. And that shows my sun there. And I'm going to do the same thing for the earth. Let's go make the earth. Uh, I want to make the earth maybe just a little bit smaller. So maybe 80%. Let's try that. Yeah, I think I like that. Because I want to make the moon just a bit smaller. Not too much smaller. But I want to make the moon just a little bit smaller than it is here. So let's make that like 90. Man, that's still not great scale. So maybe 80. So play with these numbers a little bit. All right, that, that looks pretty good for there. And I'm organizing the sprites of the sun, the moon, and the earth onto my stage. Let's make sure we name them. So these were already named earth, sun. This one's named sprite one. So let's get more specific there and go into this box and name it moon. Okay. And that looks great. Now hit this for full screen just to see what it looks like as a full screen mode. And I think that's going to look pretty good. So I'm going to stop this section and that is my creating of the sprites get creative if you want to